Welcome all. Um, so uh, today we are going to talk about some of the important uh, replacement in our kitchen. So if you've been in our community by now, you all know that um, we have uh, spoken enough about five dangerous whites that we have to replace, and we also know the reason, right? Uh, the germs, bacteria, more than these things that causes uh, disease or illness in our body. It is the the ingredients in our kitchen that is the uh, major culprit here. So um, in the last few years we spoke enough in our community, we replaced sugar, uh, salt, uh, milk packets and uh, polished rice, maida. But if you actually look deeper, if you go into your kitchen and take any items or any of the ingredients that you use daily, and if you actually look into it, uh, and if you look into what is the history, so who has made it, how long our ancestors have been using it. Um, so when you start digging those information, you will be surprised to know that uh, many of the things were actually added in the last 30 years. And those are the major contributors for uh, most of the health issues you are facing right now in your family. So uh, in those lines, if you actually look at it, uh, the very next thing we want to replace, I think almost two years before itself we found this and we were, we have replaced it in our own in my own house and many parents of the community has done it but we try to advocate it somehow it never got through uh, through the community because community is growing too many information we discuss so now we thought we will make a dedicated um, a video post so that people would get to know why it is so important so what we want to replace now in our kitchen is the tamarind. So you all will be surprised how come tamarind is, uh, uh, that why do we have to replace my grandfathers, great grandfathers, everybody was eating the same thing. So what is the reason for us to replace it now? The surprising part is we have, we have been eating this only for last hundreds, uh, maybe the 100 or 150 years. So before that we were not actually using the regular tamarind what you use today. Let me tell you what happens when you use it. Okay, We need a very little bit of uh, sour taste in our food and it is very addictive. And once we start tasting food with tamarind, it is very tough to let go the taste. So the um, um, brain remembers that senses and it often requires more. So what happens is now, uh, this is the ma major root cause for uh, uh, influctuations in the blood sugar level or uh, weight gain or intestinal issue or delay in menstruation or gallstones or skin related issues. The list is like very, very big. You can just do a Google about uh, like, uh, the side effects of tamarind you would know a lot so now this is what has been used and we thought it is our native food but if you actually look into the history part of it it came to India through Africa through traders and a lot of other things and uh, it came to India as a therapeutic purpose the tribal people were using it to make a, a tea out of its leaves and bags which is used for cleaning the bevel movement or they apply as a skin mask for skin allergy and <coughs> Mostly it is used for a medicinal purpose and the other use of tamarind which became more famous uh, in India was we have uh, enough copper vessels with us and brass materials so it was used for polishing it. Even now today when you want to clean your um, copper vessels or anything that you are using, tamarind is the best source. There is nothing else better than that. So you just need to clean it and it does a great work. So that is how it got into our kitchen and we have been using it. So if you look at it, is it like all the people in India are still using tamarind? No. There are various uh, region people use different kinds of soaring agent. So if you actually look at it, uh, even now in Kerala, they use a, a unique variety of uh, soaring agent called as um, Malaba tamarind or it can it is called as fish tamarind or pot tamarind or smoke tamarind or Kerala tamarind. So in Tamil, they call this uh, Kodampuli. So um, it is the one of the native variety even now in Kerala they use and it has a rich content of a HCL hydrocitric acid which is very good for body. So uh, the problem with that is uh, last year when we replaced it and we announced it in Green Hands project asking many people to encourage using of it, many people did not take it and we spoke to many parents and asked why you are not replacing this when you can replace other five. And this is one of the important things and what is stopping you from doing it and then they were telling us like uh, no the smoky taste is not um, it's not we are not able to consume it uh, some people like smoky taste but many people don't like it um, but in Kerala people they got used to it maybe from the child they're eating it the reason the smoky aroma of that uh, tamarind uh, uh, the botanical name for it is uh, Garcinia Gambugia so um, they preserve it by smoking it so that you can store it for a long time and use it for the cooking. 
so if you again i thought that is the native variety and uh, and that's what kerala people have been using in fact kerala is a cradle of many of the things in fact many practices which we have forgotten even now in kerala it is part of their culture and they are using knowingly or unknowingly they are practicing those things so i thought this would be one of them uh, one of the things and then when i we further did the research and we found out that it actually came to india through indonesia even there they use it as a therapeutic purpose and it was never a mainstream food so some of it got into our mainstream food um, so then uh, what else we have to go behind and then that's how we found kokum but by the time we found kokum it would be an alternative already it is much more famous in the western countries and kokum drinks beverages and lot of other things have been uh, uh health health benefits of kokum has been promoted so this is another uh, since we can't uh, the problem now we have is one side you have tamarind which you want to replace which you all agreed is bad for health it's slow poison and other side you have kerala Mal- malabar tamarind which is very good for health and every ancient variety and still we are not able to use it because of uh, various reasons but the another family is the kokum it's another sister family it's called as uh, garcinia indica Uh, indica which is very long time it has been part of our india in fact in olden days they use souring agent for like lime or they use uh, um, uh, souring agent lime um, they use uh, kokum or uh, they use uh, amla a lot of other things so this has been part of it somehow we left it but even now it is one of an important uh, uh, souring agent in uh, goan cuisine or konkan and the belt of maharashtra goa karnataka and that belt coastal belt people still use it for the day to day this thing if you start you you have to use kokum to replace your tamarind and uh, the taste will be similar the one of the good thing about is it has a bit of astringent taste um, unlike uh, tamarind where you have a mild sweetness here it doesn't have it and it has a pack of health benefits in fact uh, industries need this they t- they take a huge volume of kokum from india and uh, a lot of recipes are there and uh, a lot of medical per- uh, medicines are there like menstruation delay or uh, ear infection or uh, parasite problem in your intestine or uh, maintaining the body temperature there's a lot of therapeutic purpose in ayurveda and uh, the beauty of is this can be used as a spice as a food ingredients also as a medicine so daily having little bit of replacing tamarind and this would be a medicine and it would actually do a lot of work in our body some of the good properties of kokum is it has an anti inflammatory anti bacterial anti fungal and it is a very good anti aging anti aging agent and uh, it uh, it helps <coughs> it helps in reducing the body weight uh, obesity and uh, the list is like when i since i'm using it i know what kind of changes it brings in our body i want you all to go ahead and encourage this kokum and replace it in your kitchen as one of your top priority and uh, just try it what i would say is i'm not asking you to permanently change just uh, make a wish like say next two weeks or one month i'm going to cook in this and see how what's going to happen so try to see the change and observe your changes in your body and your body will tell you how you feel lighter how your skin is glowing so you will automatically come to know a lot of things because realization is a lot better than me giving you a lot of knowledge so when you start using it you will know the changes in your body so it, it might take some time like everybody when we say replace something people get scared oh what do i have to do now the problem here is uh, say like how you all took time to replace sugar um you try to switch to jaggery and the taste was not matching because your brain remembers that and over time you understood it because um then you replace the milk part of it milk was a very toughest thing uh, even now i know some people still use it um i would just say only one simple thing because something is tasty and it is economical doesn't mean you eat a slow poison if it is bad for health just avoid it once in a while unavoidable situation fine but <coughs> on a regular basis i would highly not encourage it because it's going to deteriorate your health so start using the kokum and uh, these are very few um, farmers who have agreed to share it to our community because now they have a huge market in export so they are very happy to export it and the funniest part is it goes to abroad and the, it is packaged and brought back to india in a form of beverages like a value added products and we are still buying and drinking calling it as a coolant for the summer 
which you can do it at your home directly which is available in your market so try to use kokum immediately as one of your uh, important replacement in your kitchen so that is the sixth item um, in seven years we are sharing and we'll share we'll share a lot more uh, ingredients that we need to enhance in our kitchen thank you and i'll meet you in the another interesting next video bye